so after a spring stampede and the night after Nitro, officially the NWO had all but disintegrated into two rival factions, one led by Nash and Randy Savage, also called NWO Wolfpack, and the other group is called NWO Hollywood, led by Hulk Hogan. So afterwards, for like about six weeks or so, about a month, uh, they were trying to get Sting, the hottest free independent wrestler on the market, trying to get his side. Like, they tried to present their evidence, like, join NWO Hollywood. Like, the Giant joined NWO Hollywood, which kind of confused me because, one, like, the reason why the Giant joined NWO Hollywood was because he hated Kevin Nash in storyline because he nearly broke his neck at NWO Sold Out 1998. But... There should also be consideration for the fact that the Giant also had problems with Hulk Hogan, and, well, I don't really see them working together. And I had a hard time believing, wait, wait, Sting joined the NWO? But why? Like, doesn't he hate their guts? And, and especially after what happened at Spring Stampede, I thought, oh, no way, he did not join the NWO. Oh, wait, look, he joined the NWO. In a tag team match between Lex Luger, the Gi Lex Luger, Kevin Nash, the Giant, and Hollywood Hogan, with uh, the disciple and Bret Hart at ringside for, in support of NWO Hollywood, Kevin Nash and Lex Luger, Lex Luger being friends with um, Sting, they wanted to prove themselves that we are the next top faction in WCW in, t in the wrestling world. So they decided and decided that. Um, <clears throat> to, uh, sorry, decided to do a match to test themselves, to prove themselves to Sting that, yes, we want your allegiance. And it, it was eventually, the match, the tag team match, it wasn't special for the most part. It wasn't really special. It could be really forgettable other than Lex, other than what happened afterwards when Hulk Hogan hit, hit uh, Kevin Nash and Lex Luger with the belt. Um... Sting descended from the rafters and went ahead and got into the ring, ignoring Lex Luger, who was outside the ring, and tore open open his um, leather coat to reveal NWO Hollywood logo, black and white. And I remember looking at this and I was laughing because I saw the way the Giant and Hulk Hogan reacted, like over the top hugging and like bouncing around. It was like, okay, that that's kind of funny. And then Hollywood Hogan went in and hugged Sting, and then Sting decked him while the Giant was focusing on strangling uh, Kevin Nash. And then Sting flipped the Giant over, and afterwards he tore open his NWO Hollywood shirt and showed that he was aligned with NWO Wolfpack. And, okay, there are several problems I had with this when I saw it. Like, from a logic standpoint... And storyline standpoint, I don't really see how this could have happened. So, <clears throat> so I don't know how Sting would join the NWO pro any in any faction. He joined NWO Wolfpack, but it let it's led by the two guys macho man and kevin nash that screwed him over at spring stampede so wouldn't he join nwo hollywood but he also hates hogan and the nwo pretty much had crippled wcw who he's been loyal to and then i thought okay this could still be salvaged i mean like if i was watching this i thought from a logistic standpoint that no way this could still be salvaged. Okay, maybe they're building up secretly that Sting is secretly a seed within the NWO to destroy from within. That he was hired by J.J. Dillon or someone else or he decided on his own on his own terms he was going to destroy the NWO from within. Like, I thought that could have salvaged everything and actually made sense. But, no. No, we didn't. Um, yeah. It, it wasn't... It, that was not the case. They went straight forward with it and the impact of Sting joining the NWO. While the pop was great, it got from the audience, it eventually faded out as weeks went by because what really evolved. So that was pretty much it. And then Sting and the Giant would feud over, um, over the tag team belts as they were the tag team champions at the time. And 
defeated the Giant in June to at the Great American Bash to uh, win the tag team titles and chose Nash as his partner. Throughout the summer, Sting and the NWO Wolfpack started to feud with Hogan and the NWO Hollywood, and then got involved with Bret Hart, and they, uh, and it was a very stupid reason because over their similar finishing holds, the Sharpshooter and the Scorpion Deathlock, and then Hart, Bret Hart cost Sting and asked the tag titles by interfering in the match with Hall and the Giant on the July 20th episode of Nitro, and then. Sting and Hart squared off at Halloween Havoc, where Hart, the United States champion at that time, attacked Sting with a baseball bat, putting Sting out of action for several months, because then after that they had to find an excuse. Oh, uh, yeah, he got injured. Um, that worked that well? Um, wow. Sting would not return until after NWO had pretty much disbanded NWO Elite. After Wolfpack and Hollywood reformed together to form NWO Elite, they got taken out by injuries. And so they had to drop the storyline. And Sting was not aligned with any faction. Now, had Sting returned when the NWO Elite was still going on, he probably could have like done a mask painting on both sides of his face. One is black and white, one is red and black. Where, and then declares war on the NWO since had the injury not have been as long as it was. And it would have really probably built some momentum for WCW, though not by much after the finger poke of doom, which I will talk about in another, uh, another um, <clears throat> review. I mean, in another thoughts video. Sorry. Um, so that's pretty much the impact of Sting during the NWO Wolfpack. It wasn't really impactful. It later spread it down and Sting just became another dude in the ring. Like, oh, oh, it's Sting. Ah. Like, back then it was cool for Sting to see Sting doing the Crow gimmick. And when he joined NWO, it just felt... Uh, like, if it was hot, then if they did it right, then they could, it could have worked. But it wasn't. It just became nothing. So those are my thoughts on Sting joining the Wolf Pack and ultimately um, the and ultimately Lex Luger and Kevin Ash versus Brett versus uh, Hollywood Hogan and the Giant. This was Neo Reality Entertainment. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and donate. Stay tuned for more.